Hello guys, this is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, one too many unidirectional. Okay, and uh, one, too uni one too many unidirectional by default is a joint table. Uh, let's uh, go to the demo, okay? And uh, we're gonna create another package. And uh, what's gonna do? We're using edu. Oh, oh my god. Let me create another package. Uh, one, two, many. Okay. Okay. I will refactor this. <laughs> Rename. Refactor. Sorry. Okay, so this is previous video, one many to one. And uh, hey, why do I have a class one too many here? Oh, I created wrong. Okay, delete. Delete and create another package here. One too many, right? And here, now, oh, what the first thing I want to do, I just copy this one there just to start the application to show you the table is created successfully, okay? And uh, we're still using the same case, same example. We have a person and have address. Let me copy both of that, okay? And uh, in this case is uh, one too many, which is a person will have a collection of address, okay? How to represent a collection? We can using a list, okay? List address. Okay, and uh, here we import the Java IoT addresses, okay? And then we have to remove the address, this one, because it's one too many, okay? It's unidirectional, which means uh, a person has a collection of address, but from the address, it doesn't know the relationship about the person, because you can see anything related to person now, but a person knows I have a collection of address. And how to represent one too many? Add annotation one too many. Okay, that's it. And now let's run and to see what's gonna be what's gonna be happened. Okay, using app man and run it. Oh, there's something probably is not correct. Did I using edu.mum in all other? Oh, I using this one for a long time. Mm, okay, just uh, leave as it is now. Okay, I don't want to use another package domain name as uh, as the package actually, not my intention. Okay, here uh, duplicate mapping the the thing because seems this one doesn't work very correctly okay we're choosing this one so this one works in uh, spring when we together we, but here seems not a, uh, not a correct i will do a search and uh, later to see the package scan if it's actually correct okay so the problem is uh, we have a duplicate mapping. It is scanned for this package and also this package. When I change it here, I remember long time ago, it doesn't work. Okay, let's see, okay. Only scan for this package, see if it has this problem. Mm, uh, one too many, uh, this one. Oh, oh, yeah, this one doesn't matter. This one is the unit name, this one, okay. This is this one. So let's run one more time. Okay, see, take a look at it. Yes, still. So now the only case is I will comment the entity on this many to one. Okay, so it can be run successfully. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Close all, 
and uh, now I make a comment to this one if you download the source code I want to practice make sure you uncomment those okay and uh, for the one too many I have address entity and I have a person entity here and uh, let's run one more time Seems created successfully, right? And see here, create uh, address table, create a person table, create a person address table, and also those tab they those are is due to other constraint like this one, foreign key to address ID, foreign key to person ID, and this one is uh, unique for the address because one too many, the many side has to be unique, right? And uh, let's take take a look at the, uh, the generated generated tables here. Here we still have three tables, and address is the three fields. Okay, and the person only have three fields, and we have address person, which is a join table generated automatically, and I'm gonna have a person uh, this. Uh, foreign key and also have address as a foreign key both combined as the primary key and address ki address id also has a unique column on that so let's talk about using the diagram and probably you will be confusing why when we design our table, when we have one too many relationship, we will have a foreign key, right? Why hibernate using a join table as a default, not using join column? The problem here is this one. We have a public class person here. Oh, oh, let's, let's write it again, okay? Let's write it again. Okay, we have a class person and we have a class address. Okay, and here we have a collection of address. And suppose here we have ID and the first name, last name. And here has ID and the street zip code. The problem is when Hibernate is trying to map an object into the table, he will map all the properties, the instance fields as the column into the database, right? So when we translate this address into the database, here gonna have address and I have ID and I have a street and I have the zip code. But if we literally translate in the address, do I have a foreign key? I don't have. So by default, Hibernate will not create a foreign key on this side because in your address class doesn't have any relationship to the person. So Hibernate will think in a table generated by the Hibernate address shouldn't have anything related to the person because your class doesn't have any relationship with the person from the address side. And then now Hibernate we are trying to create a table for the person, right? Now it's trying to create a table for the person. And it's gonna have ID and have a first name and have a last name. Now here, Hibernate C here have a collection of address. What should the Hibernate do for these uh, instance fields? Okay, should the Hibernate store as a extra column addresses here? It cannot, right? It cannot store addresses here because uh, the addresses here is a collection. It can be one address, it can be two address, it can be three address. So if I only has a one column address here, how to store a collection? Do you using comma to separate or do you using the hyphen uh, the pipe to separate? 
as a hibernated, don't know. So instead, so when, uh, so add the extra column in person to save address cannot achieve a collection here, right? Because you, you they might have one, they might have two, they might have uh, five. So add extra column in person cannot store a collection of address. So hibernate do, okay, I cannot store in the address because here class address doesn't know about person. So hibernate will create extra table for one too many unidirectional and which will store the relationship between address and the person. And it has two foreign key as a combined primary key. One is a person ID. The other one is address ID. Okay. So, and for the person ID doesn't have unique, but for the address ID, here this column also, yo, I think you cannot see it. I will draw uh, this because here, th this side will have my, <laughs> will have my, uh, you know, my face there. I will draw it here, okay. Uh, start again. Uh, so I don't know how to store. So it will create an extra table, which is the person and address. Okay, it has only two column. What are the two column? Person ID and address ID. Okay, so both of them combined as a for a primary key. And additionally, this column address ID also has a unique U N I unique constraint, which means uh, for the address, the value for the address in this column can appear, appear once, which means uh, I have a person one can have address one, but a person two cannot has uh, address one again. Okay, it has unique. This address one only appear once in the person address table, but a person one can have uh, address two. One too many, right? One person can have multiple. The reason why here have unique uh, constraint, if we don't have unique constraint on address ID, it's, it's gonna become many too many. One person can have some many address, right? And uh, one address, can belongs to multiple person, so it cannot become many to many. That's why on address ID it have a unique constraint, and uh, that's why when we using one too many unidirectional by default, it's a join table. Okay, by default, and uh, in our code, we just add one too many and uh, this uh, table. <coughs> sorry. This table, the two column, the properly the ID is very ugly. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I mean, the column name is very ugly. You can also customize using the same annotation as we used inside the many to one join column. And uh, you can give, uh, you can customize what's the join, uh, uh, sorry, not a join column what I'm doing name equals person if you want to change the default name excuse me and uh, we have the join column which you can do is it's an array and we can using join column annotation and give a name suppose you can give to call the address id okay or you can call addr id and we have another one is to customize for the inversion inverse sorry inverse and uh, join column and you can give another name this one is to specify for the person id otherwise you got a person and the person id so let's run one more time OK, 
okay it's done and the, probably from here you can see create the table person IDDR match this one and you can see this one IDDR and the person ID is already customized okay let me show you here there's no changes on address and a person and he create a new table person address this one is because uh, the second time it's uh, we using drop and create but it couldn't find a person ADDR so it cannot drop this one it's live there okay and it has a correct uh, column name as we want so that's it for this video about the one too many uh, join table by default is join table and for my next video we're gonna talk about one too many join column so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.